Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I have an exciting addition, I'll call it a mod, for the 2020 Tacoma right back there behind me. This is one of my favorite mods. It's the center console mod or the custom center console cover, I guess. Now, if you haven't checked him out, the guy's name is Kylan Brimhall. I'll leave his name down below. He is a professional upholsterer and he does some awesome work. So I had sent my console lid off to him uh, to be recovered, redone. And it's back, we're gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna get it in the truck back here and we're gonna see how it looks. I can't wait, it should be awesome. Okay, let's take a look. You guys are gonna see it in person the same time I've seen it, to be honest, I've seen pictures, but this is the first I've seen it delivered here. So I want to cut this open carefully uh, because I know what's inside, right? Let's go that way. That way. And then let's see. Remember how this is oh, I guess it opens from the bottom. So let's cut this open. Trying not to cut myself. I've been known to uh, to do that. All right, I think that does it. Let's get it open and see what we've got here. Oops, we have more. Kudos to Kylan for excellent packaging. Let's try it now. Okay, here we go. All right, packed the same way that I sent it. Awesome. I can tell already it's gonna be too cool. There you go, check that out. You guys can see right there, hopefully, it is Voodoo Blue to match the truck. It has the channel logo on it, which is exactly what I wanted. That is awesome, check that out. This should be too freaking cool in the truck. Um, we're gonna go out now and install it so we can see what it looks like when it's done, but uh, I think it looks awesome. Kudos to Kylan, man. Let's get it in the truck. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to put this uh, back in here. Uh, I just pulled the latch forward and stuck the actual uh, console lid cover behind it. Pretty easy, and if you're looking to take this out, obviously you just do it in reverse. Just kind of snaps or fits right in there, doesn't really snap. And then there are three bolts or screws, I guess. And these are actually there are four uh, that hold that part in. So you should be able to just screw this in. It's just a Phillips head screwdriver, and there are four: one here, 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 and here. So, let's go ahead and screw that in. I really do like how easy it is to take this thing off. It's pretty darn simple. You don't want to over tighten these. They just go into plastic, so you really just kind of want to snug them a little. That's it. Um, I have stripped them before uh, in the other truck. Not all of them, but uh, enough to drive me nuts. So, we'll get all these tightened in there. Again, you don't want to go too much. Just snug them up. That's all they need. And one more. There we go. Now, we have the, I don't know what you call it, the inner piece here, I guess I'll call it, for inter, inner piece. Go ahead and dump the screws out in there. Sure, I got them all. Looks like there are two, four, six. This uh, just fits back inside. This is obviously the latching part here. Um, and the screws go in, let's see, here, here, here here, here, and here. So that's where we want to be lined up. Go ahead and see if we can't fit that back in. It seemed to me like it did kind of 
snap a little to get back in there. Again, doesn't take much. It's not too difficult. That's it. That puts it in. So now we just have to go ahead and put these six little screws. You guys can see how small those are. Not much to them. Again, you want to make sure that you do not over tighten these. They just snug. That's it. Um, again, I had over tightened a couple of them in the other truck. So, you want to make sure you don't do that. I'm going to try not to do that in this truck. That's about it right there. Yeah, they're really, you really just, uh, just get them to where they touch. That's about it. They don't go in much further. Not like that. Wow. And one more. You see, this is a mod anybody can do, or have done. Obviously, I didn't do the upholstering. But sending these off to Kyland is uh, easy to do, and he turns them around very quickly. That's it. We've got everything back in now. Uh, it's just that simple. Let me just give it a little push here to make sure. And that's what we have right there. I think it's freaking awesome. Um, wow. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, I know, obviously, you may not want uh, the Arab Motive logo in your truck, but Kylie can do anything. I mean, if you can send him a picture of what you're looking to have done, um, he can do pretty much anything. I've seen him do some amazing, awesome work, and uh, he does a fantastic job. Okay, we'll take a look inside. There you go. That's the finished product. I think it goes along quite well with the blue screws inside of the uh, shift knob here that I put in. I am going to put some blue lettering over there, voodoo blue, in the uh, stamped Tacoma section on the glove box way over there. But uh, that looks pretty darn cool. You guys can see the voodoo blue out there. And then what we have in here. Anyway, I think it came out awesome. Uh, it just looks fantastic. One other little benefit to this, when Kylan does it, he puts in some uh, gel padding uh, underneath, you know, the surface that you would set your elbow on. So it's much more comfortable than the ones you get from the factory that are like sitting your elbow on a rock, especially if you're taking a long trip or something. This is fantastic. Anyway, big shout out and thank you to Kylan. Like I said, I'll put his name down below. You can find him on Facebook uh, under Kylan Brimhall uh, if you're looking to get a quote or have something like this done. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't before, check out my other channel, Rob Motion, all about the Jeep Gladiator out there. We'll see you next time on the web. Bye.